Uh, Mikey, I mean, another great performance by your team. What do you have to say about today, today's effort? Um, I think we, we try to play a playoff style game the past, uh, I mean, we've been talking about the past 10 games of the year. So uh, there's a big emphasis on that tonight, even uh, with 10 minutes remaining with a, with a pretty good lead. So we just tried to uh, stay true to that and know what we're, what we're about to get into here next week. And is that uh, reassuring? Because you guys had a really good effort against them, obviously the last game you beat them 7-1. You knew they were going to come out hard, but it seemed like you guys took it right from the start of the game. Yeah, more than anything, it's nice to string together uh, a couple wins um, right at the end of the year after uh, running into some um, streaky uh, play over the course of the past month or so. So I think those are two big wins for us. And uh, obviously having a big crowd must help and get you guys energized, especially when you're scoring goals like that. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping for uh, more of the same from uh, from our fans. And uh, I think uh, playoff time, they'll they'll ramp it up. Did you feel particularly good? I mean, it's not every day you get a hat trick. Uh, was your game feeling good or it just, it just went in for you today? Um, my game's been, uh, I usually try to like, I don't know, I try to, uh, you know, play every game like it's a playoff game, whether it's game one um, or the last game of the year. So, um, you know, having playoffs to look forward to is definitely um, makes it more makes it more exciting and stuff. But uh, as for me, just individually, I try to uh, treat every game the same. Is this a testament to how much you guys play for each other when, you know, last game, Billy gets hit late in the game. You guys all barrel in to, to defend him. And then today, Wyatt is taken out in front of the net, and then Jimmy comes flying in to defend, you know, his a young rookie sort of thing. So is that just kind of a testament to how much this group cares for each other? Yeah, our, our owner, uh, Chipman, came in before the game and, um, you know, told us he's proud of us and um, loves how we, how we play for each other. And, uh, you know, that, I think that really, um, you know, him saying that meant a lot to us that he saw that. And uh, I think that um, you see it on the ice as well in those scrums when something happens to a player. We're, we're, uh, we're always playing for each other. And, um, you know, that's, that's how you got to be in the playoffs. You were wearing military appreciation jerseys. What did you think of them, and what did you think of seeing all the all the military folks in the crowd? Um, it's really special. Um, you know, to me, I have a uh, my brother-in-law is retiring from um, the Air Force uh, this year, and uh, the United States Air Force um, Lieutenant Colonel, someone I've always looked up to, and uh, has taught me a lot. Um, you know how to how to be a professional off the ice. So uh, tonight was pretty special for me, and. Um, you know, obviously everyone in the stands as well that's that served. So uh, we, we thank them. And last one for me, but did you carry to keep uh, mementos? Are you guys going to keep one of those hats that went on the ice or to keep the pucks? Anything like that? Uh, I, Evan Pohl, I gave me uh, gave me the puck after um, after the game tonight. So that's my memento.